Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? <laughs> we are back again doing another biome build. This one's pretty special. I saw this flying around and I was like, man, we gotta do we're doing a mountain biome today. I, I think they were, they're usually called extreme hills, but I don't know. It says mountain. So <laughs> let me show you. Let me get over here on the mountain. Uh, and this is a, is a mountain biome. See on the, uh, on the left it says biome, mountain. So we're gonna do a mountain mountain build and I just saw this little area between these two uh, pieces of the mountain so between that and that and I'm thinking about doing like a bridge house like a little bridge that takes you from this side of the mountain to this side of the mountain and have the starter house in the center of that bridge uh, which is pretty cool I don't know let's see if we can make it starter worthy it's not gonna be the easiest thing to build as a starter house because again you have to do a bridge once you do the bridge you got to do the house on top so hopefully this video is not too long uh, let's see if I can do it in a good amount of time and again use this as inspiration you're definitely not gonna have the same dimensions from one side of a mountain to another in your world just use it as inspiration to build uh, this style uh in wherever you find in your in, in your world so let's do this let's do some stuff so first off i'm gonna go with stone as a primary blockage uh, for the bridge so first off this is what i want to do i want to get from this side of the mountain to this side uh and this is how we're gonna start doing it uh so i'm gonna just do a straight line right from this end so right from here to that side so let's do a straight line and then we'll curve it out just to see what kind of stuff we're working with so it's gonna go all the way down just with regular old stone brick just regular old stone I'm gonna go straight down it's not gonna be a straight bridge I'm gonna try to curve it a little bit so it's gonna go from here to here and then you know you can just terraform your sides or whatever it's a little uh, way into this mountain right here it's pretty cool I just goes in and out look at that cool okay uh, okay so now let's start this out um, so if we're gonna do it like this let's work on uh, how uh, wide we're gonna do it. So if I'm gonna do a bridge from this side to that side and I want enough space to put a house in the middle, I'm thinking a five wide uh, would be pretty good. So if this is the middle, we're gonna go to this way and we're gonna go to this way. And then we're just gonna take this down. Let's take this down all the way, just so we can see what we're working with. Uh, let's take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down. And you know what? I think I am going to make it straight on the top and then curve on the bottom. because It'll make our lives easier too. So let's do that. So I'm going to go right here. And this is a five wide. And the length, it really is not going to matter. It's not going to matter because you're going to work it on your own. Whatever size you have your uh, mountain to mountain connection. Uh, th that'll be just fine. So, okay. So this is our five wide path. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just fill this all in with stone and we'll come back later on and we're gonna play around tweak it that is uh, so many missed blocks it is insane that's crazy okay so th th oh hi i didn't even see that that's camouflaged uh so i'm just gonna fill all this in with stone for now how did you miss that uh so i'm gonna fill you yeah, missed another one i'm gonna fill all this in with stone for now and then we'll tweak it okay perfect so then we have our little platform from there to there and that is looking pretty cool okay now let's work on a simple little support structure system here that's gonna go from here kind of curve in right here and kind of curve in right there i'm, I'm gonna make it suspended uh, so you don't have to you can if anything you could always do a giant pillar going all the way down but i'm gonna still do a nice little support going like this and one on that side so for this let's see i might make this um a little bit of a thicker bridge because it looks really thin right now uh so that's fine for now let's just get to this corner let's take this all the way down to there that's fine i'm gonna take it let's see so one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm gonna go nine so from here I'm gonna start working on a nice little curve. So let's do this. I'm gonna go down by two, placeholder block in, take that out, down by three, placeholder block, take it in, and then go down by one, two, three. So that's two, a three, a three. Uh, and then I'm gonna take it in right about there. That looks good. Let me repeat this here. So down two, placeholder, take it down by three, I'm stuck on something, the placeholder, uh, bring it in, take it down by two. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this down all the way. Let's take it down all the way, all the way here. So that's the first level of support. Uh, so let's take that there. Now this one, let's go again by nine in this corner. So this is going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to go down again. So one, two, one, two placeholder block one two three placeholder block one two three take it in placeholder and then go all the way down and i guess this is going to go all the way to here right there and then this one again 
So placeholder in and then take it all the way down to there. Oh, uh, hello, there we go, there we go. Okay, so we have that on that side, that on this side. That's looking all right. I think that's supported well. <laughs> it's the only thing, you can't put a really big house on the top because then it won't make any sense. It'll look a little bit too much. Uh, we could add extra beams also, uh, but before we do that, let's work on the details of this support structure here. Uh, so I'm gonna put stairs going right here, stairs here. And let's do, let's actually take this little piece down just so you can see a little bit more of this structure right there. Let's take that down to there. Uh, on this end, I might do an extra bit like so. Something like so, just to add a little bit more uh, details to this part. And maybe take that up one, take that up one, and then we can go ahead and do something like so. Here, here, there, and there. Just to say that that's kind of supported even, even more <laughs> right there in this corner. Uh, and then down here, I'm just gonna go with stair, stair, uh, stair and then an upside down stair here upside down and stair here and there okay that's looking awesome now I'm gonna put another stair right here and right there that's looking cool now let's do the same thing on this side so we're gonna go with stair 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 and then here we're gonna do that thing we did but this is gonna go a little lower I guess because the, the way the mountain is set up so I'm gonna go right here Let's go all the way down and then all the way up here. Take this little piece out. That's looking awesome. Let's actually trim this little bit that goes there. Perfect. Let's do the same thing here. So bam, bam, bam. And there we go. Going all the way to the tippy top. Let's get rid of that and that. Okay, so that has that look to it. Uh, and then take it one up one more there and then go and do the same thing we did on the other side. So take that one up. Let's go bam, 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 and bam. And that's looking very cool. Uh, right there, right there. Oh, that's looking awesome. Okay, let's do the little remaining bits here, which is there, here, 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 upside down there and there. Now, in the middle here, I'm gonna go with a cross beam right here with a little stair here and there. So we're gonna have that little cross. I'm gonna go with one more stair right there on that side. Let's check this out. One more stair right here on that side. That looks cool. All right, so let's work on that. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Repeat the pattern. So right here, cross, stair, stair stair and stair so we have that going like that that's looking really cool uh now that looks like it's supported pretty good it looks like a little fantasy style little thing it doesn't look really naturally supported it looks like it could collapse at any moment but it looks pretty cool um now i'm gonna go up one more level like so on all of these here right about here let's go all the way down I missed that block, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I got this. So right here, and then another one right on this side. Let's take it all the way down and go all the way, all the way from one end to the other. I missed one block, I said I'm not gonna miss, not even one more after that. Okay, maybe one more, maybe two more. That's fine, whatever. Uh, so this is gonna go from this side to that side. And now in the middle, I'm gonna go with the uh, spruce. So let's do this real fast. I'm just gonna cover all this in spruce uh, from one side to the end. Hold on a second. Okay, so it looks pretty cool. Well, another thing I want to do is I want to add more details to this thing. Uh, if we're going to go fantasy, we're going fantasy. Let's go with another kind of support structure going from this end here to maybe cross straight down into that just to give it something cool to look at, okay? Uh, so this is what I'm thinking. Right here on this end, let's pop this out by one, two. Let's take this little piece out, one, two. So we're doing that. Now, let's put a stair right here, upside down, right there. Upside down right there. And I'm just gonna go straight up with stairs, just like this, going all the way up, meeting right at the tippy top, right over there. Oh, that looks cool. Then over here, I'm just gonna go with a full block and I'm gonna go with stair, stair. So that kind of connects like that. That looks awesome. And let's do one more upside down right there. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, you know what? Let's do that again. I'm gonna do it on this side. So let's do full block, let's do stair and stair. And then I'm just gonna go straight up with it. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna repeat this on this side. And then once we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the other side, but we'll do that fast. Uh, so you guys don't have to see it twice. So we're gonna go all the way up, just like this, right there and th uh, there. Okay, cool. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, you know what? Let me do this really quick on the other side and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, look at this, it looks really, really cool. I like it, let's take a look from the other side as well. 
that looks awesome. Okay, another thing that I really want to do is I want to texturize this. Uh, but before we do, I want to do one more little support thing because it looks cool with this little cross going this way. But I also want to add a little one uh, right here on this side going right up to this. So let's see. I'm thinking right here in this corner, we'll do some upside downs right here. Take this one going straight this way and just meet up at the top. So let's do this real fast. This is going to look pretty cute. Uh, so right there, right over. I'm stuck on something right there, right there, there. Meeting up right at the tippy top and done. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. Let's go around and uh, see it. Oh, that is so cool. All right, I'm gonna redo this also on this side. And again, it's super easy. We can do this together. This goes right on top of those. And then we're just gonna go up the other direction. So another thing that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna probably do this off cam, I'll do it right now, uh, is I'm gonna texturize all this, uh, meaning I'm gonna replace some of this stone, regular old stone. This is really boring just having old stone. I'm gonna replace some of this with stone brick and with cobble, just all the way around, peppered around, and that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Okay, let me do this real fast and be right back with you guys, uh, and we'll uh, probably work on the the house that's gonna go on top. Give me a second. All right, so the texturing has been done, and look how much better it looks like when you mix in the cobble and the stone uh, and the regular stone brick all the way around. It looks so much better if you just use one material. I'd always recommend doing that. And this looks really, really cool. I love this bridge. Definitely looks more supported now than it did at the beginning. Uh, and now we're gonna start out uh, working on uh, the house. So. Uh, another thing that I want to do is also detail the way you get into the bridge like right here Maybe a little railing system, but first off let's work on this house. So it's gonna be a very simple house I'm not gonna try to go too crazy with it. Um, just make it uh, starter worthy, but it, uh, I think we're past already starter stuff when we did this bridge, okay, but uh, Hopefully you guys do enjoy it anyways, uh, so let's see I don't want to do a big house So let's see I'm gonna go with stone on the bottom part of the house and then we're gonna do a small second floor And that's gonna be the wooden section. So um Let's try to center this. So let's see. Let me count. One, uh, this is not. Don't play these box. I just want to count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven from here to here. That's perfect. So, but the house, I don't want it eleven. That's too big. So I'm thinking. Let's see. One, two, three. Maybe if you start here, this is a one, two, three, four, five, five. Let's do six, seven. I'm gonna do it a seven. So let's go in here. I'm gonna do. Uh, so let's take this piece out. And for the house, I might take it out by one right here on this end, uh, just to give it a little more space. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could do a seven by seven box. How about that? Uh, let's just go down with stone brick regular. Uh, right here, a little seven by seven box, one on this side, and then one on this side. And what I'm thinking about is this, it is a bridge, right? Uh, we have to have a way to cross between. So I might make this into like a little arch right here have a little uh, ladder to get up in the middle somewhere, maybe one on one or, or both sides, and then have it crossable here, but the house be on top, so something like that. So let's do a small little house right here in the middle, seven by seven. That's cute, I like that. Uh, you could definitely make this bigger, but you know what? I'm, I'm gonna try to go uh, smaller scale. Uh, so let's take this one, two, three in here, one, two, three here, so we'll do a nice little arch in the middle. Uh, so let's take this up. So this is technically is a one from here. So two, three, four, I think a four high might be enough clearance. So let's just do all of this out of stone brick for now. And then we'll come in again and we'll texture it after like we did with the bridge. So let's take this up right here. And I want to do another one of these, but a big version. I don't know if you guys would be down to see something like that. We're going to do this very starter worthy, very small, not too crazy in scale. Uh, so something like that. And then we'll do little supports down here too, but we'll, we'll hold off on that in a minute. Uh, and if we do an arch here on the fourth, let's see if we do that here. And then maybe take this up one more then. Let's take this up one more. I think that might be just enough. Yes, I think that's perfect. So let's take this all the way up. It's a nice clearance. Uh, so uh, carts can pass by, you know, you can imagine you know, a bunch of people coming through. Uh, so that should be good. So arch, arch, so a little archway here. Uh, and then we're using spruce primarily as our wood since there, if you see around here, there's spruce uh, all over the place right here. Uh, so let's do, give me a trap door, make this, let's make this cool looking. And uh, we'll bring this back. So something like this, and then just to make it cool, let's go with trap doors going all the way around like so. 
trap doors going all the way around like so give it a nice little texture a little border of this wood so it's not all stone still good like that that looks awesome uh now another thing i want to do is lift this up by two lift this up by two let's do a little stair here and here just to give it a little more support so one two and we'll come back and texture again as as why i say we were going to do in a second so something like that and that that looks really awesome okay now i don't think i want to put any windows here maybe some arrow kind of slits kind of stuff <laughs> we could do that uh and then you know what i want to do here right in this side uh this will be a way up on this one so one two three four five one two three four five we'll do a little ladder in here one two three four five one two three four five we're gonna do that and a little ladder to get up on either side would be pretty cool so right here a little ladder to get up ladder to get up to the next section perfect um now this is where i'll probably put the arrow slit window so maybe right here one two one two that might be cool and then we could do let's say facing this way little arrow slit a little arrow slit and you know what maybe even for depth what if we throw it in here hold on a minute i'm just curious i'm just curious to see we could do a little arrow slit hello can i sneak in right here a little arrow something like this uh actually i think the other side would be better right here and here for added depth and then we do something like that oh baby baby this is new school i don't think i've ever done an arrow slit inside like this let's try this right there right there and then boom and boom that is pretty cool well, let me see something oh man hold on that looks pretty cool i kind of like that's nice that's a nice little new uh new school texture here uh we can't really put one here or well, we could do this hold on oh baby okay sorry man i got excited this looks cool because we don't really need to do this but it looks pretty cool oh i'm t i'm keeping that style that's awesome let's do that on each side so that's pretty cool so you can use the space as much as we can so take this down take this down take this in and it's okay because we have the ladder there and it's still giving us that little uh cutaway we need hold on let's see let me get in here oh that looks awesome let's do it over here too and it's fine see because it doesn't really affect the way uh the ladder is working in there so that's perfect there we go and boom this is better than an arrow slit i'm falling from the bridge i'm fine uh and then here we could just do some stairs just to give it a little bit more definition and there we go oh baby baby that is awesome okay i like that i like the way that looks that's really really cool now before we go on to the next floor let's work on a little support for right down here i'm thinking the best way to do it is let's go down here put two upside downs i think i broke something i wasn't supposed to but that's fine there we go upside down upside down let's do a little stair here here and here that looks great what if now here oh you know what let's take it down one more right here let's go with a stair 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 and then let's beam this out do a little cross thing right here so it looks like it's definitely supported ring around the whole thing and then stair stair st i mean full block full block full block and then stair 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 right there and that looks like supported really well uh oh did i take that down by two? Oh, i took that down by two my bad uh let's take that <laughs> up right here there we go and there we go that looks well supported oh i like that i like that a lot okay really quick off cam cam let me texture this bad boy give me a second all right we're textured up and looking really really cool i love this so far so next up let's work on the second uh, floor of this house or the main actually the main floor technically because you can't really do anything on this just a little crosswalk uh so for this is do a play a little placeholder block i'm going to take this out and around like so take it all the way down and then another placeholder block we're going to pop it out like this on both sides and then we're going to keep going this direction pop it out one more on that side cross beam right here placeholder block come on this way and then we're going to meet up right there so we have this nice little look going all the way around now i'm going to go up here by one two three four all the way around one two three four over here one two three four and then we're going to go all the way around right here and you know what we're just going to do a little tutor style all the way this way all the way around in all of these sections right here all the way around and then we're going to just mirror it <laughs> we're going to mirror it all the way around uh oh right there and go all the way around 
all the way around, all the way around. Now, this is looking very cool. Now, next up, let's grab our favorite, the white wool, uh, right there. You can do white wool, you can do concrete, whatever, this is the wool. Let's go right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover all these up right around like that. And then this is just gonna be a quick little all the way around with white wool. Let's do that real fast. All right, so we went all the way around with the white wolves, looking very cool. Now, what I want to do now is do a little cross beam uh, action. So let's take it up one more, cross beam, all the way around, up and cross beam. Make it very simple, just to cover this up. This is where we're going to start putting our little roof right above this little cross beam pattern. So we're really not going to see too much of it, but we're just going to go up and cross all this. So let's do this real fast. Once we get to here, we are good to go. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just gonna put a little roof on top of this bad boy. So uh, let's make it very simple. So I'm thinking about a uh, spruce and uh, a cobble blend <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, so let's move this down to the side here. Let's also get our other stair. Uh, there we go. So for now, let's just go up. Outer border is gonna be stone. I'm gonna mix in some cobble uh, later on. And then the inner part of the roof is gonna be with the spruce. So let's make it very simple. Uh, I'm thinking since this is the angle we're in right now, probably the best thing to do is cover this end. So we're gonna go all the way down like this and we'll pop in windows in a second. Let's work on the roof first. So right here and right here. Let's do it also on this side. So we're gonna pop it out overhang by one all the way down like so, meeting here. And then we're just gonna go up with a straight roof. We're not gonna go too crazy with full blocks or uh, make it too high. We're just gonna go very simple, just like so. Take it all the way up like this. So we're gonna go bum, bum, bum. Oh, hello, I messed up. Take it up very, very nice and simple all the way up like this. Hello, I'm missing every block. That's fine. It's fine, we got this. Uh, and then right here, upside down stair. And on the tippy, tippy, tippy uh, top, I'm just gonna go with the stair facing that way. And then you know what? I'm gonna repeat that on this side, so we're gonna do this real fast. And I'll see you when we're done with this place. All right, so we did that side. Now, you know what? I'm gonna do this real fast as well. We're just gonna fill all this in with spruce. So let me do this real fast as well. All right, so we did that piece. Now, another thing we wanna do is in the center. Let's connect these pieces together. I'm just gonna go straight with stairs all the way till we get to the middle. I'm assuming it's there, let me just guess. Uh, let's see, this would be the middle right there. And then once we get to the end, you can tell it's the middle. This log is right in center. And I'm gonna put a full block right there. Simple as that, look how cool. Now, let's work on a couple more bits of detail. So I'm definitely gonna put a little window in the middle, probably uh, one on each side might be pretty cool, but let's do this first. I'm gonna work on uh, a little bit of detail down here. So right down in this end, uh, this needs some support. So what if we do stair, 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 all the way around, let's do it here. Stair, 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 stair. On this side, stair and every other one there in every other one and I've been doing this for a while now this is my little trick that I love doing this grab a little trapdoor action right here take the white wool out of there and then right on the bottom we're gonna put a trapdoor lining on there and I love this this has been my textbook style if you see this on any build you know this is a sausage build right here this is my thing I love doing that uh, now another thing I want to do is on the bottom here I also want to do the same thing but this time I'm just gonna go straight down let's see actually you know what Let's do one of these is gonna, uh, we should skip every other one being a trap door. And then on every other one of these, I'm gonna put a slab of spruce going all the way around. That looks awesome, let's do that again. So right here, we're gonna go uh, trap door, trap door on every other one, and then slab on every other one after that. That looks cool, look at that lining, that looks so awesome. So I'm gonna keep that perfectly right there. Now let's work on some windows. I'm thinking about putting a window, uh, let's see, how about we put a window here? Put a window here. On this one, how about we do a little balcony, a long, tiny little balcony, do a little door right about here. Uh, and then let's do something. Let's actually get in here for a second. Uh, let's put a stair. Actually, I think a stair would look cooler right there. And do a little balcony, uh, tiny one, tiny one. Uh, so let's do a uh, pop out right here, here. Let's actually go uh, with a, another one he oh, uh, here. Uh, let's do a slab there and there. Let's take this out one more here, here, and here, and cross beam those. We're gonna take a full block here and here. Let's do another one there as well. 
Let's get a, a gate right here of our spruce. And then we're gonna put right there, 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 and there. That's looking awesome. What if we, uh, you know what, I'm not sure if I wanna do an overhang. I think I'm gonna just leave it just like that. And on the tops of these, we're gonna put trap doors, like that. And that's a small little balcony. Looking very cool. I love that. Look at that. Uh, we don't have to go symmetrical with it. If we want to, we could. Uh, but I think hmm, this will definitely deserves it. Because look at all the space. Over here, you're really not going to look at nothing. <laughs> you're going to look at this end here. Uh, so for this, uh, we don't have to make it symmetrical. Let's actually do a window here and here. And then for these windows, let's put trap doors here, like little shutters, one on this side, one on this side. Let's grab some glass. And I think for the glass, I'm going to go with white. Looking very cool, matching the uh, white wall right there and there. Uh, on this side, we could do one here. Oh, hello, there and there. And then put the trap door. Uh, I'm thinking we could do it right here as the shutter. We could do it right there and there. That'll be the shutter for that. And that looks really cool here. On this side, I'm thinking about maybe just doing a window here and here. And that looks really cool. So let's drop a window right there. Actually, you know what would even look cooler? How about this? Let's, I just changed last minute. Well, how about this? Let's take this out. Let's take all these out right here, right? Uh, let's do a little uh, bit of detail here. How about we do a stair here? Flip the stair here. Flip a stair here. Let's do a glass. Uh, big, big old giant glass. Let's do a little bay window. So one, two, three, one, two, three on the inside. One, two, three on the inside. Let's put the panes next to it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then we could do a full block. I mean, a full a stair facing this way. A stair facing this way. One in here. Let's go inside real fast. And then in here, we could just do a little, uh, not across me. Let's do a, uh, let's do white wall right there. Let's go inside. Let's check this out from this side. Oh, yes. Look at that. Little bay window. Let's look at really cool. Let's repeat that pattern. Super easy to make. So let's knock down this little piece here. Right here. Let's put our glass. We're going to put a glass here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Put the white wool right here. One, two, three. Do our stair. One facing this way. One here. One here. Oh, no. Here. <laughs> let's do a full block. One, two, three. And then here we're gonna put glass panes, three up, three up, and then repeat that same pattern. One stair here, here, and there. Bay window. Oh, that looks amazing, amazing. Okay, now for this part right up here, I wanna change it up a little bit. Let's go with the stripped spruce log right here. And I'm just gonna cover all this up, going straight up into it, just like this, straight up, cover all this up with stripped spruce. That looks so cool. Let's do that right there right there sneak it in sneak it in and boom that looks so awesome i love that now let's come on this side it's the same thing so strip spruce going all the way facing upwards right here let's see if we can sneak one in there there we go boom oh there we go then going all the way to the top there we do oh there we do in it right there uh now to give a little separation between this and this i think right here we could just do a row going down like that get some slab uh and then we're gonna put the slabs right here here and there and that gives it a nice little trim around there let's come over here on this side and do it again uh so right here the stair 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 and stair a little slab action here here and there oh that looks so cool i love that that looks awesome okay now let's work on something else now let's work on a little window pattern right here on the middle and it looks like it definitely needs it so right here i'm gonna do something small so right here let's knock this out Let's knock this out, leaving a space gap of three. Take this guy up, one, two, one, two. Uh, take away the middle. Uh, let's take this guy, and I think we could twist it in there. There we go. Take this guy, twist it in there. Um, hello, there we go. Hello, I missed it. There we go, perfect. And now let's work on a little twisty twist job. So I'm gonna grab these stone stairs, and from here, uh, actually, you know what? Let's see. You know what? Take these out a second. I think it'll be actually better if we put a full block here and here because I'm gonna work on something now. So let's grab stairs. I'm gonna put a stair here, popping out by one. Let's take this down. Uh, let's go ahead, take this down, get rid of this piece, take it down. We're gonna take it out by one on this side and then we're just gonna go up gradually, just like this, just like that, and then boom, just like that. 
And then let's take away also this little piece in the middle and we're gonna take this guy all the way down and connect to there and take this one down and connect to there, perfect. And then right here, we're just gonna take this down all the way, boom, meeting in that center point. Look how awesome that looks, that looks so cool. Uh, over here, just to give it a little bit of detail, we'll do a little upside down stair on both sides. That looks good. And then in the middle, uh, we, we can work on this. Let's actually do, uh, let's see, let's take it all the way up the middle right here let's get our white and put here here and then there and there and we have a little window perfectly snug fit in in here right there boom, boom, boom. that is so cool all right let's do the same thing on the other side super simple job let's just repeat it and i'll be right back with you guys all right so we got this taken care of look how nice it looks one on this side one on this side nice little pop outs on both ends this looks really really cool added just a little bit of detail by putting a little trap door right there it looks pretty cool uh, so i'm gonna add another one also on this end just so you guys can see and i worked on this little part so i'm gonna show you how i built this little piece here just to add a little more detail to the walkway added some fence gates and you know it looks really really cool uh, so let's do it on this side. i'll show you how i did it uh so for now i'm just gonna go with regular stone so one here right at the edge of this skip every other one and then mixing and matching what i did was i added uh, either a stone brick or cobble to this and you'll see we'll do it along the way going all the way down like so every other one drop a gate let me grab this little gate real fast boom and then we're going to drop the gates in every single little gap in between each section so one here and then also one on this side and then on the tops of these i went ahead and i've just mixed in just randomly some of them are going to have stone uh, slabs some of them are going to have cobblestone slabs or something like that let me grab a little cobble right here and then just randomize it you don't have to do it exactly like me like this one looks too patterny so let's do something like that there we go there we go and then some of these are going to be changed to stone maybe one of those going all the way down let's see switch that guy these two maybe here and then some of these are going to be cobble switched up something like that maybe nah, just random something like that maybe that's it that's fine <laughs> so that looks really really cool i love that now another little thing we need to add is on this side i want to add maybe like a little flower box or something so they give a little bit of green here so i'm just going to grab a little uh, bit of green right here and we're just going to take it down one two three and then do a nice little flower box action eh? right here just to bring this uh, just to give a little more life to this guy uh and then here any flower would do uh let's get some orchids maybe a little poppy and an oxidaisy was fine so bam 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 perfect though look how nice that looks so cool all right that looks awesome uh now another thing we have to work on too is uh really simple uh we uh, just uh, the way we lay out the insides of this uh so let's go all the way in so this is how it looks like so far really open so what i'm thinking about is some cross beams so let's actually we can't cross beam here uh we actually can't see this cross beam so what if we do this do a little cross here Actually, you know what? What if we do the cross beams out of these guys, the stripped? So let's do cross beam here, cross beam here, cross beam here, and a cross beam right here. That's looking awesome. And then on these, we can go with full blocks of spruce. Let me just grab one. Uh, we don't have them accessible at the moment. There we go. So I'm gonna go with boom, 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 going all the way down, full blocks full blocks and a full block right here and then oop, that's our way up and let's do a trapdoor right there perfect and trapdoor right there and if we want we can actually do trapdoors here just so it can look cool uh and it kind of gives it that same feel to it just remember don't open it you will fall down something like that that is awesome uh let's grab a door on this side it, it didn't even type there we go and we're gonna grab a door and place a door right here, perfect. And then we definitely can separate these again. Uh, so for this, we can actually do it on the same spots. So cross beam here, cross beam here, cross beam here, and another cross beam right about here. And that'll separate this floor as well. And then we can do these out of slab this time. Uh, and we can mix in the trap doors too, but let's just slab all this up. And we have another floor. So this will be your bedroom area probably. You can even have a little library, a little nook somewhere here. And that looks really awesome. Look how much space we have here. I think to give it more detail on the top, I can maybe go with some slabs on every other one, like so. 
and then trapdoor the other spots like this. And that gives it a little bit more detail to the ceiling. Looks very cool. Uh, and then to get up, I'm not sure where to put it. Let's see. Right here would be cool. Have a way up here. Uh, you can even have a way up on every end if you want, just to have it symmetrical if you like that kind of thing. Who doesn't? Uh, and then we can trapdoor those and then trapdoor these. Put a little ladder to get up, maybe right here. So we have a ladder up right there, ladder up right there. And that actually looks pretty cool uh, because it's kind of next to the window. So it looks like it actually belongs there. It looks really, really cool. I like that. We have our little nook right there. It looks so awesome. Look at this little area. Look out this bay window on every side. Look out this way. We need to have a balcony right there. So that gives us so much space, so much stuff to do. That looks amazing. Let's get down. Um, and then, oh man, this is looking so cool. As far as here, we can still detail this if you want. Uh, what I would do is maybe stairs uh, you know what? How about stairs here and stairs here? Do a little trapdoor action here and there. Maybe even trapdoor these like this. And then we have this way. Oh, that looks so cool. So cool. Uh, you can even have lighting if you want. If you have glow, so you can throw them here. Uh, glow. If you don't have glow, so you can definitely just put some torches in here. <laughs> That'll be fine. Maybe a little glow so on each side. You don't even need this section. And you can even trapdoor this you can still make it up it looks cool something like that look very very cool uh, or you could just put torches and it'll still look awesome look at this <laughs> this is awesome now if you really want to detail this you could things that i would do is maybe even come in here with uh some just random sprinkling of uh trap doors and remember they're directional so if you want to change it up maybe one like this and like that it looks very very cool just random going all the way down a little bit of trap doors looks pretty cool just be sure you don't fall through. Uh, if you don't have a too thick uh, side right here, but we have too thick, so it's all okay. And just maybe just randomly throw in uh, some of these uh, trap doors. Another thing you could do as well is maybe grab some stairs uh, and I'll show you how we could do this just to break it up even more. But on top of the way we have the trap doors, you can get some stairs, let's see. Let me grab a stair right about here. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you can even throw in a couple random stairs broken in like that this kind of breaks the path up just a little bit maybe something like that going all the way down in uh, right here right there maybe another one you don't want to put too much let's see this bridge is destroyed uh something like that going around that looks pretty cool have another one maybe right here there you go just breaks up a little bit uh, another thing you want to do, which would be kind of cool, is underneath, you see right here, uh, you can actually break these up as well. Since it's too thick, uh, you can maybe throw in some spots where you have little breakages right here. You can even have uh, some exposed pieces just like that. And maybe that's like a way down. You can just jump if you wanted to. Uh, so you can leave it up to you uh, if you guys want to do anything crazy with it. Something like that. Oh, and we didn't sprinkle some details on this. Let's go real fast. Something like, oh, hello. Something like uh, this. Uh, where's the smooth stone? There we go. We forgot to put this little side. That's fine. And boop and boop. There we go. So stuff like that will just add to your builds and just give a little bit more detail to it. Uh, right about, let's see, we're in there. That looks good. Broken up enough. <laughs> Even some of these. You can really just break them if you want. Something like that. Maybe a little bit there. And maybe even a little piece here looks kind of like wasted. <laughs> it's about to fall down. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. But look at this. This looks super cool. Oh, man. Hopefully you guys did like this. This is it. This is it. I don't think we could add a bunch of stuff. But I think this is good. I think this is good. This looks really, really awesome for a nice little mountain house in the mountain biome <laughs> this looks so awesome what do you guys think of this build man so much inspiration i really want to build a big version of this you know like a three tall uh four store four story towers kind of thing uh maybe a a, a nine, 11 wide something really thick a thick boy uh tower house uh in the middle of a bridge that but this is a cool one a cool one to start out with and i see you you flowing thing get out of here i saw that in the corner of my eye you ain't staying uh, so something like this. This looks really, really awesome. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. Let's take one last spin. Let me know what other biomes you guys want me to do a build in. And I will just go ahead and do it on one of these upcoming episodes. But hopefully you did enjoy this one. We got a lot of other biomes to get to. But let me know what is your favorite. Which one do you want me to do next? And I'll do it. <laughs> but I'm out of here for now. Thank you everybody for watching. And I'll catch you on the next episode of Building with Sauce. So see you guys later. Goodbye.